we'll let this play through taps and um then after that just uh, give us a thought on, on what you thought was so great about um uh, dk's try side down jones looking round for support He's on his own before Landry pops up round the back. They've got numbers here. If Landry can find Kelly, he steps inside, bangs off his right, dots down, and that's... Uh, I think first, it's always nice to see things that you actually practice quite often in training sort of come to fruition in the game. So the uh, the first thing of that is we, we obviously practice that, that quite a lot in terms of boys actually really trying to take a hard step, running hard, stepping once, so no breaking steps if there's open space, basically. That obviously encourages what you see in that video there, which is the defenders over chasing and showing their their chest to the touchline, which gives Dan the uh, the if I, just, um, if I play it through taps and then you walk us through from what you're saying about there, yeah. So good vision from Ted here to yeah, and, and even drifting. even on this pass, so you know it's a good pass, but you watch it does stop Dan slightly, <clears throat> but his first step after the ball gets to him is positive. He's going to the corner. He's therefore dragging the defenders with him more. And then that, that left foot step, is, it's, um, he hits the floor with the left foot. And as he hits, he's pushing back in. You can just see how, you know, I used to call that my, my sort of top gun break where you hit, you hit the brakes and they fly right by. And you just watch uh, the two, the two um, uh, Jersey defenders there. They're still heading hard for the corner, which they've had to because that first step has made them commit to the outside. And there's just no way back from there. So once he does that, you know, they're committed to the outside. If you watch, once he does that, it means that they block themselves off with the next step. So look, Barnes there, you know, you see his, his first step is taken. So his next leg has to go further towards the touchline. So there's no way he can get back. And I think the key is they don't even get an arm on him um, because he, it's such a good step. And they're so committed to the corner because of how he's initiated that, that movement when he gets the ball. Um, so for that, that's a really big thing. You know, he's only drifted half a metre out towards the touchline, but it's enough to buy him that space for that cut. Um, you did a great angle in terms of where his hip, hip placement. And then again, that re-step off the right foot as well. There's, there's no braking there. Both both cutting steps are also acceleration steps, um, which is really what you want to key. And the way he manages his body in the contact in terms of the angles of leans. Um, you know, we did some stuff actually, you know, this week on uh, last week on that in terms of change of direction with those lean runs once you have cut. So it's again very really nice to see that sort of coming back into actually actually being useful in the game, which is what ultimately any any speed work you want to do, um, you know, you want to transfer. And, and with agility, um, that's that's obviously more important because you can do all the change direction you want in the world, but they actually have to see what the pictures of athletes and understand why you want to perform certain actions at certain times. And, and DK nailed it on that occasion. I think one of the key things you said there, and I think this is for any sort of young players, especially, uh, listening or watching is is that we said about accelerating straight away and, and there wasn't a slowing down into the step so he doesn't like he stutters there to obviously just to catch the ball but there's not a slowing down in order to step for these defenders chasing their their his first steps like you said are forward encouraging them to carry on the way they're going and then yeah. there's a very little sell and great reactivity from him as well just to get out from there yeah, I mean, they're worried about the touchline. They're, they're worried about you scoring. That's the, that's the threat to them. Um, so he makes that a real danger to them. So they, they commit to that danger. So he keeps the danger on both sides. And he knows by reading it that if they go there, the inside defence is a bit, bit disjointed. And he's got that option of bouncing back again off that right step. The right, the second cut. To do two cuts like that, you know, that left foot cut, there's some, she, there's some pretty significant forces going through that left foot cut. And even the right foot one again, there yeah. you know there's no there's no real slowing down you know we both know someone at, at was was pretty good at changing direction without slowing down and, and you know that's the that's the key for those scenarios of scoring tries close out close in you know with those changes of directions and agility aspects is that you don't slow down because as soon as you slow down and chase your feet like you said if dan had taken then a couple of steps here to try and set up beating people with agility they'd have to close that space on the inside whereas because he's gone hard if you run fast, the opportunities present themselves. So by going fast early, the options become obvious to him about what to do. Yeah. And, and that's it's what, about that's taking important. taking time away from those defenders, isn't it? If you're if you're stuttering your steps unnecessarily, you're taking you're giving time to those defenders. Yeah, um, they, they've not been able to get them to. I mean, to you can look where they're chasing from here as well. So they've got what thirty meter run, it's 25, 30 meter run ups here. Yeah, they haven't been able to reorganise their body because they're in 
bit of a you know a fight or flight mode there and they're so worried that they're going they're they have to go flat out so anything that they do with the, the you know the psychological refractory period they've got from dan step they can't readjust quickly from it because the time they've got to process that new stimulus is, is too is too too great you know that's really quick and they're traveling so quickly therefore the time for them to adjust is increased and yeah. therefore he's in a really positive situation like those two guys are you know they're five five six meters away from him so he's made an early decision but because he's committed to it so quickly you know they'll take two three four steps to to even look like decelerating if you roll it on look, you know they're not really slowing down even while he's you know, he's gone the other way and they're still traveling towards the touchline um and, that's, and it's a you know, brilliant read as you say because the obvious space is there he's, he's done he's done the right thing initially accelerating into it but there's a lot of players i think might just carry on for that space and there's possibility he still he scores but i think it becomes a lot less likely with them uh trying to pin him down to that corner yeah i wouldn't want george edson coming across me in that picture of situation so i think he's made a really good decision to, to cut back in <laughs> yeah that's it flow flow and then crash yeah um Brilliant. Thanks, mate. No worries, mate. See you later. I've been the whole time, try step. Yeah, that works. Just like that. Oof. Good option, mate. Oh, yes, gals. There he is. It's impossible to get that step on that last. Yeah, he jumped over. Straight too slow. There he is, Dad. Good man, good man. Oh, oh. Missed the last one, you Oof, good feet, good feet. <laughs>